It was the selfie that first drew attention to her story. They were clear, clearly concerned about something. Last summer, State Representative Janelle Bynum was going door to door meeting constituents in Clackamas when a white woman called 911 saying Bynum looked suspicious. The deputy arrived, figured out there was nothing to fear, and the woman later apologized. I kind of um, characterized it as one where we need to know our neighbors just a little bit better. Tonight, Bynum argues her case is less egregious, but part of a disturbing pattern. It had to be my race because there were other patrons in the lobby. Chief among that pattern, Jermaine Massey, the man kicked out of a Portland Doubletree hotel for calling his mom in the lobby. Staff and police didn't believe he was a guest. He was. You never know how it feels until you've actually been there. Representative and, uh, Bynum says it's cases like that that fuel House Bill 3216, first reported by our news partners at the Oregonian. In short, it would allow a person like Bynum or Massey to sue the caller in small claims court for unlawfully summoning a police officer. You've been accused now of being somewhere when you're just living your life. And there is no recourse for you to seek any sort of justice. You're just repeatedly, um, not to say a victim, but you're repeatedly subjected to someone questioning your validity. I think the intent of this bill is a fabulous idea. Jason Kafori's law firm is representing Jermaine Massey in a lawsuit that Kafori says is coming. He first learned of the bill this morning. We asked if he worries this law might scare someone out of calling the police in a situation where they actually need help. He says no, because most of the time the bogus calls come from businesses. A private corporation should not be using our taxpayer funded police to do their dirty work to kick people out of their establishments for a discriminatory purpose. And that's what this bill is there to address. Lawmakers behind the bill say the language is still being tweaked. It's scheduled for a vote in the Judiciary Committee Monday. Maggie Vespa. KGW News.